Can I tell you what a pleasure it is for Barry and I to be yeah. joined at our uh, Nesson studio here by one of our all-time favorites, Milt Schmidt is with us. It is great to see you. As again. we affectionately call him with what? the deepest respect, Uncle Milty. One of the nicest things that ever source said about me. <laughs> <laughs> I can honestly say that I have, often when I'm uh, fighting for contracts and I didn't receive them and I said, trade me. And they wouldn't trade me, and I'm so pleased that they didn't because I would never receive the same niceness, you might say, as I have received here from the fans and the Jacob family and uh, you people, the uh, TV people, and the uh, and also the uh, people that uh, used to be the right here. Well, he talks about niceness. When I first came here in the early 80s, uh, my mm -hmm. uncle and my and my father said to me, listen, you've got to meet Bill Schmidt. Not only was he a great, great player, one of the greatest of all time, but he was tough. So he, I had a great honor of meeting him along with Bobby Orr and the early guys, all the legends when you come into Boston, which is a great tradition. I meet him. And I called my dad up and I said, hey, listen, great guy, but he can't be that tough. He's too sweet of a guy. Huh? No, it's a I, it took me quite a while because in uh, 1936, uh, the first uh, year that I joined, I might want to say that uh, I could have signed in 35, but all the money that the Adams has had, I wanted it, <laughs> but I didn't get it. Yeah. But anyways, the uh, saying was that uh, 1935, uh, I uh, the reason why I didn't get it because I. I had more money than anybody else was going, was going, anybody else had. And they said, how much money was that? I said, $2,000. You know what I said to them? I was only 17 then. I said, you need the 2000 more than I need the 2000 <laughs> Goodbye. Make my way home. Uh, get my uh, way home tomorrow, which I did. One of my favorite stories, your childhood friends, uh, Woody Dumart and Bobby Bauer. You guys are childhood friends. You play junior together. Your rights get acquired by the Bruins together. You play 15 years on the same line together, the famous Kraut line, and you all go to the Hockey Hall of Fame as well. Do you know something? That the three of us were very, very close during the off season and on the uh, ice surface as well. Very, very close. Never ever had an argument. And if we had anything to say whatsoever and it did hurt you or you or myself, <coughs> we talked it over. And we did get to uh, feelings that were nicely felt again and uh, no argument whatsoever. Well, we'll try it in practice tomorrow. That's how we got along. And uh, I think that had a lot to do with our success due to the fact that we were not uh, uh, afraid one guy was going to get an assist and the other fellow wasn't going to get whatever happened, happened. Yeah. But uh, we were uh, very, very close during the summer months and during the winter. And I, as I said, that I think that had a lot to do with our, with our success. Now, when you were down on the ice for the opening ceremony and you dropped the puck, I noticed your eyes as you were dropping it. You had to look up. <laughs> you make these guys pretty big now, huh? Six, nine? <laughs> I'll say this one thing. They're faster today <laughs> and they're bigger today. We had players throughout the league that probably could skate with these fellas yeah. today, but not as a unit. We'd always have more slower skaters than they have today. But uh, it's a privilege to be here to watch them and not behind the <laughs> bench as a player Yes, that was the easiest job I had. As a coach, tough. Manager, tougher. <laughs> it's so great to visit with you and yeah. see you again. 95 years young, and it's such a pleasure to visit with you again. Well, nice being with you people, and uh, all the best to you. Thank you. And above all, good health. Amen. Milt Schmidt joining us here.